Meta AI's new image generator cannot generate an image accurately of an Asian man with a Caucasian wife. David, is this a big deal or not? You know, AI, it can almost imagine the most fantastical things in the entire world. But for some reason, this was too crazy, even for AI. Oh, We got to talk about it, Andrew. Read these uh, headlines. These, some of these are salacious, by the way. Mark Zuckerberg is married to a Chinese-American woman, but Meta's AI image generator can't imagine an Asian man with a white woman. I'm Ooh. still trying to generate an AI Asian man and white woman by Mia Sato. Meta's AI generator can't imagine an Asian man with a white woman. Mia Sato, Andrew, wrote two articles about this. Her dad is Japanese. Her mom is white. That's why she's personally felt invested in this uh asian guys will riot for this on the internet no i'm just kidding i mean not everybody thinks this is a big deal but does it show some ai bias or is ai just going off of the existing data which of based off maybe google searches there's not that many images of of asian men with caucasian wives so therefore ai is having trouble Right, we're gonna break it down today. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Small Last Sauce at smalllastsauce.com. And we have to say this though. It is true that uh, originally when this article was written by Mia Sato, who's a hoppa, her dad is Asian, her mom's white. That's why, like I said, she she's like trying to imagine her family. Right, it couldn't generate her family. Like she was saying, if she typed in Asian girl with white guy, there was a hundred results that popped up in about 30 seconds. And literally she just could not generate an Asian guy with a white woman in her. Since since she wrote this article over a week ago, Meta AI has updated its servers. Mm. So she, she's in her. She launched a revolution. Right. Well, I guess this is humans helping make AI better. Yeah. You know, like AI is not perfect. So here's the question. Did the AI not have the data sets? Because it's just obviously statistically way more likely for an Asian girl to be with a white guy than the other way around, right? Asian guy with a white girl. Or was AI actually biased? Was it programmed by some nerdy white guys who hated to see it or what was the reasoning and or the internet spiraled into like a hundred different theories all right but first of all when when you did type in asian man with caucasian wife and then it came up with a clearly asian woman no yeah it did it did it did pop funny. up like a, a hopper woman Ah, uh, she. She was clearly she's Asian. She's Asian. Woman. She's Asian for sure. But uh, anyways, I cannot imagine it. I've never seen it walking around San Francisco or Seattle. Dang, the one question that would stump Chat GPT. I guess, David. Uh, let's get into the comment section. Do you have any takes of your own right now? What are your thought? What was your feeling about it? Is it a big deal, or should humans speak up? and help make AI better and correct AI. Yeah, shout out to Mia Sato. I do think it shows you that you need a girl who's half white, who's going through this exact situation because it offended her because her dad is Japanese. Right, right, right. No, but I'm saying you need people where it's like personally impacts the hoppas and they can't imagine their family. So obviously, Mia Sato, shout out to her. She loves her dad. That's why she's like fighting for him, right? Right, right, right. Um, I do think it's interesting that a lot of people were trying to twist this into so many different dynamics, Andrew. Some people try to use it that further evidence that Mark Zuckerberg is evil. Is that uh -huh. a, yeah, uh, of course. You know I, how that's I like think a, that's a reach. <laughs> that's a narrative on the internet right now, right? right? Um, other people are saying that AI is clearly not that smart. Right, but other people were saying that clearly AI is really smart because it's something you don't see in real life either. It turned into a Wokies versus incels thing. Um, some white guys were saying, no, it's just a coding issue. And then of course, Andrew, it descended into a lot of discussions about why does society value Wasians or white hoppers over Blasians? So Ooh. I'm just saying that a lot of people are basically looking at like, they're taking meta AI not being able to imagine this couple and then like, I guess, using it to draw a lot of conclusions about a lot of different agendas. Yeah, I guess my overall take is I don't think it was built in by an engineer to stop showing images of Asian men with Caucasian wives. Like, I don't think that that was like an agenda that they had You're necessarily. You're saying a white nerd programmer didn't yeah. go, no, I know only yeah. Asian women for me and no white women for Asian men. Yeah. No. They'll never catch this mistake and nobody will notice. It'll just wipe Asian men off. You're the right. plate. Wow. It, was, <laughs> it was not written into the code. No, I don't think it was because actually I asked chat GPT about who the Fung brothers were like last year and they came up with, all the wrong information. It had some part of the right information. Oh, the Fung brothers are a Chinese American duo just off of Wikipedia. But then it had all this other untrue stuff. And then I told ChatGPT, I said, hey, that is the wrong information about the Fung brothers. And then ChatGPT goes, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for correcting me. You know, so yeah. I think that there is some part that humans need to 
correct AI. Um, obviously, there's not engineers around the clock looking out for Asian dudes, but I I think the the photos on Google are just not there. There's not enough on Google, uh, but it also shows you that the meta AI generator is not that good. Honestly, it's not that good. Right, right. Um, I will say this. There was this last quote that I will say that it's important. So I don't really care that Meta AI couldn't do it at first, right? Because Meta AI might just say, hey, I'm going off the pre-existing Anglosphere data set, right? But I do think I'm really happy that it changed by people pointing it out. Right, you know why? Right. Because when you see imbalances in media representation, Andrew, it seems like it can be overblown. But there's this quote from this magazine, Plan A Magazine. The importance of media representation advocacy can be overblown, but the importance lies in the fact that pop culture representation is often the only way to definitely point at everyday social inequities that can't be verified otherwise. Mm, so it's not like that, obviously, media representation is everything. Obviously, your real life is more important, but sometimes to talk about social inequities, that's the only inequality, social inequalities media representation is the only way right, you can almost show it. Not everybody's living out in big cities seeing a tr trillion reps every day, right? You know, some people are like, is that true? And it's like, well, no. Well, you just could point at yeah. the one constant thing that's constant across all the cities, which is the pop culture. Yeah, no, a lot of non-Asian women who grew up around Asian guys have no bad images of Asian guys, have dated and mixed with Asian guys for many decades now. But it's like, if you don't live around Asian guys, then the media representation matters. Right. Anyway, comment section. Somebody said it's about the IRL data set that AI pulls from. Okay. So that's what's like a lot of comments from like the tech people. Um, Andrew, this Latino guy came in and said, I blame it on liberal whites who are always trying to correct everything through fantasy AI. Because a lot of people were saying that, for example, Andrew, when you wanted to look up German soldiers or European kings, originally Google's AI was making them all African. Right. Right. So then they were like, why is everybody trying to fix things through the fantasy world? How is that going to fix real world inequities that still exist in 2024? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't think this AI generator mistake or inaccuracy really, that's a symptom of something that wasn't going to change the world. That wasn't like the media representation that was going to change people's perceptions of Asian men. Right. But I guess this led into a whole discussion because this Latin guy was basically saying like white people tell us to use Latinx and we don't even want to use it. And we're actually Latino ourselves. Mm. And he was like, why is everybody like trying to like police these like worlds that are not even their own anymore because they know better. Right, right, right. Right. Um, somebody just said uh, AI knows that Asian doesn't only mean East Asian. Um, but here, here's the whole thing. Basically, when AI is trying to imagine an Asian, Andrew, AI only goes off how the Anglosphere views the word Asian. That's why it's like a Chinese Korean looking guy or a Japanese guy that pops up when you type in, look, show me a photo of an Asian guy in meta AI. Right, that's true. Like how many of the images are gonna come up with even like a Bangladeshi guy? Right. You know what I mean? Like if you type in Asian, it is definitely gonna be probably a Chinese passing person. Right, and it kind of goes back to that the AI can only pull off pre-existing data pools and what it's been told to look at. Uh, and the data pools weigh so heavily on the East Asian side, especially if you look up searches, right? right because, Whether no, it's, because that's the, in the Anglo countries, that's the perception of the word. Right, Asian. because they're only taking from English, Anglo-Saxon data. Because Specifically more American. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's true. So if you're only taking from American data, then you're going to come. I'm, I'm not shocked that it came up with this. I believe in England, Andrew, the word Asian is more used for South Asian as well, or right. even maybe in the past, primarily for South Asian. Um, somebody said, it's not that big of a deal that they couldn't imagine an Asian guy with a white girl. Think about it. They were making all the German soldiers POC from World War II. Right, right, right. Right. Um, this is a uh, LGBT gay Asian guy, Andrew, and he wrote a bunch of stuff saying this, uh, saying that Asian men get shafted. I'll fight for all Asian men. My dad was an Asian guy. I know what it's like to be an Asian man in like uh, essentially like the LGBT community. Now, the reason why I thought that this whole st uh, string of comments was really interesting, Andrew, is because just like Mia Sato, her dad is Asian, her mom is white. She's fighting for Asian guy representation. This is also a uh, LGBT Hapa fighting for Asian male mm. representation. So I'm saying that sometimes you need guys that are not straight Asian guys to fight for straight Asian guys. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it like makes it, it doesn't seem as what? Selfish? Well, it or? Ain't, no, it expands the voices. It's like if it's only 
full Asian guys complaining about something, then it looks like, oh, well, you guys just don't live good lives, so that's why you guys are complaining. Now, that may be true for a portion, but for a portion of the Asian guys complaining, that's actually not true. We're just being rational, right? But but then you need people who are essentially the, the mixed breed to expand the voice and expand the uh, movement. Right, because it say. shows that people who are just not that group of guys cares or, yeah. or sees it, right? More or, people care. That's important. Um, on the flip side, Andrew, here are a bunch of uh, comments from people saying, oh, no, this is like a rice cell concern. This is so desperate and pathetic. Who cares about this? There's famines and wars in the world going on. And basically saying, like, this is like a very, like, incel thing to care about. And here's the part that's wrong about it. Because Mia Sato herself, who wrote it, is a girl. Mm. You know what I mean? So I just don't think that it's only guys that are seeing it. But I do think that there is a way that you could say it that is kind of like, you know, there's a lot cooler way of bringing it up. Yeah, than I mean, people. I think this is not an issue I would personally cry about. Like, cry, like get emotional about is what I mean. But obviously, I think it is important that humans help make AI better. AI is going to be the future. Everybody knows in some way, some shape or form in the next 10, 15, what, however, five years, however you right, use we're it. We're on like AI, what, 1.0 yeah, right now? AI is going to be huge, right? So AI is going to be a big part of our life. And a lot of the AI companies are coming from America using American English data points or whatever. So we need to, I guess, take this time and let the makers of AI know like, hey, this could be more accurate. Because if you're going to have AI you might as well make it more accurate. Right, right, right. Um, anyway, let's just get into our takeaways, Andrew. I'll say this. Like I said, AI cannot fix what happened in the world. I know for a while, Google AI was imagining every European king to be black. Andrew, uh, I was looking up the, um, the, the history of the Moors, the Moors like conquest of like uh, Spain and Southern Italy and things like that. That was about a thousand years ago. Uh, a little bit over a thousand years ago. We can't, it, you can't go back and uh, like change it to fix modern day inequities. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I guess like, it's interesting to, to give it a different look. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I remember when uh, a while ago they made uh, Shakespeare's Hamlet, you know, uh, all African American and different things like that. So like I said, what I'm saying is just as we go forward with AI, like you said, if white people dominated the world for the last 400 years, or like Anglo-Saxon people, or whatever you want to call it, European, Western European powers. I guess, what is, is, is AI just going to pull from the last 400 years of history? Or do you think there's a responsibility to, to get different looks and more diversity in there? Uh, I guess in the search options or in the search results, I guess that's where you would see the diversity. I think maybe AI can take like Asian doesn't just mean East Asian. It can be Indonesian. It could be Filipino. It could be like... And then they give you that option. So maybe in the future and in, in the near future, when you type in Asian man with Caucasian wife, it should give you also the option of a brown Indian guy. You know what I mean? And a, and a, and a Caucasian. And not all Caucasians, right, look blonde either. They're not all a Scandinavian. Caucasian can mean like they can have darker hair, right? You know what I mean? Like it's not just like a blonde white woman with blue eyes. So that, I guess, because those terms actually do mean more than one thing, then it should give you more than one option. Right. I just think for me, uh, shout out to well-meaning liberals in tech, but we got to work, focus on real programs that address inequities at their systemic core more than just trying to fix everything in fantasy AI land. Yeah. I mean, it's true. AI representation. Hey, David, it's not media representation. We got to fight for AI representation. We're hey, already you know, hey, fighting the robots. Hey, does AI affect real life or does real life affect AI? David, we used to fight wage wage a movement against Hollywood. Hollywood put us on. Now we already got to wage a war against the machines. Is this the first war? Or will it be like the creator where the Asians team up with the robots? Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of this whole controversy in the comments section below. It got way bigger than I thought. We're talking about thousands of comments, millions of comments all across the internet. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.